Hello. Hi. Anything else? That's all. 269. Alright. Need anything? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up guys? This is Jim from High in Trout Fishing. Welcome back to another video. So today, I'm here at one of my local reservoir called Aura Reservoir. <laughs> I love this reservoir. So today, I'm trying to show you guys about my kayak setups and then my arsenal from the kayak fishing. So you know, my, my kayak is the Hobie Mirage my Passport 10.0 2020. And I think I didn't ever show you guys what kind of setup I put it onto the, my kayak for a while. So today I'm gonna show you guys what kind of setup in my kayak, what kind of fish gears in my kayak, and then what kind of fishing rod in my kayak. So stay tuned guys. Pow. Alright, check this out. So this is a Mirage Passport 10 and a half foot uh, kayak. And this kayak is like perfect for my short fat truck right here see it's like it's a short bed but it's perfect fit for the my kayaks so I don't need to put anything on the like uh, extended kit and stuff so I think this is a perfect site for me for trout fishing so all right I'm gonna take this out all right so this is my like a kayak mover, like a roller. This is a. There's two kinds. Do you have a, this one? And there's a big, more bigger one type, like a, using for the sand and the rock and stuff. I should buy that one up because uh, I got this one because it's more cheaper. But there's more better one with a hobby. Alright, so this is the basic setup of the kayaks. Check this out. And I'm gonna put some chairs in it. This is my hobby chair. See right here? Be like this. Side. Perfect. And this is my paddle, two pieces. So when I bought this kayak, they gave me this one and the chair and the Mirage paddle drive. So, so I got this. Three, this paddle drive right here. Check this out, paddle drive and chair. 
and the paddle. This three stop is a basic stop. They give me a three. And also here's the water for the kayaks. So this one, the water connect with the this one. So it moves the the angle from the kayak, so I can turn left or right more easier on my seat. Cool, huh? All right. This is the rudder. And this is my fishing box from the kayaks. This is my fishing box. It's from the Flambu. Flambu. I got this from the Amazon. I got this for about 70 bucks, I think. I put all my gears and stuff. And I put my scissors, tackle, weirs, knife, measures, fishing lines, sunglasses. And Put my tackles around here. This is all my tackles, like trout tackles, trout tackles, and also I got my bass tackles right here. I, I didn't use for a while. This is like top water jerk bait, and this is my crank bait for bass fishing. And this is a uh, my lever jig, frog, and uh, hooks, weight, those kind of stuff for the bass fishing. Man, someday I should go to bass fishing. Man, I didn't go for a while. And this is my trout magnet. I'm using it for like sometimes. And this is my trout gear, spoons, trout jerk baits, and trout spinners, those kind of stuff. I love this box. It's so useful. Alright. So this is my net right here. Check this out. I put my net connect into the this uh, little hole right here. So I know I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna lose this net. Same time I can you know freely using it for these handles and my tweezer and my clippers. This is what I need for fishing. Cool. Check this out. My clippers, tweezers, and uh, net. Cool. And this is uh, my safety stuff for the, this is my line for the safety rod. So I don't lose my rod if I drop in the water. I got two of them. All I need is two, the left side and the right side. And this is, this is stuff right here. I'm using it for Something when I catch it with a with a tease, big tease, I can use this for the grab a fish. Check this out. These three steps. Perfect. Alright, so today I'm doing the first straw fishing. So I'm gonna bring my spoon gear, spoon box, and my tackle box. And I think that's about it for here. And this is my fly box. Maybe I'm maybe I'm using this one today in case. And this is my measure. All 
All right, time to get my rod. I put this one on the right. And my spinning gear, gear, okay, right here, and the last one. So this is my ice box. Check this out. Apple water, Korean choco pie, and beer, Coors Light. Haha, <laughs> I love Coors Light. And I got some lemon water. Keep me hydrate. So it's kind of stuff. My life bath. All right, so first setup is the, this one is a Daiwa Steve Air TW. And I got this like around about February, March around this. This reel has a 9.1 gear ratio, so super fast. I'm using this for the jerk bait, the little micro jerk bait for the trout fishing. Cause uh, I can move this jerk bait really fast with this reel. reel Cause this reel has 9.1 gear ratio, so it's super fast retrieving. So I can work with this like a super fast jerk bait, like a mino stub, mino type of bait. So I'm gonna put this pair with a fast moving, heavy sinking lure, cause I'm gonna work in the lake. So probably I'm using this rainbow trout color. Check this out. I'm gonna use this rainbow trout color jerk bait, the spearhead yuki, and let's see. All right, so also I'm using a 6.2, I mean six foot two inch light action. It's called Wide Stream. It's a not really super soft tip, but still have a soft tip. But I can use this for the jerk bait because it has a really good action with tips, like a little tips, but really fast. So I like this rod with the Taiwa Steve Air and the jerk bait, spearhead Yuki. All right, next up. All right, this is a really wrong rod. This is the how, how many feet? This this is the seven foot seven inch. It's like a super wrong rod with the Shimano Spider Bayfinness XG. This one has the also fast gear ratio. I think it's about 7.8 or 8.1 gear ratio, I think, around there. But still, I can work with this like a jerk bait, same time. But a little heavier, because uh, this is a heavy rod. I mean, not really heavy, but this is a medium light rod. So I'm using this one for like a more bigger lure. Like, like a, Lapala countdown. But today I'm gonna use this pair with the oh right here. This pair. The orange one. The gold one. I'm gonna use this pair with this wrong rod medium line action it has soft tip but not really soft tip like uh, another rod but still has a soft tip with the really wrong rod see that oh yeah spider and 
secure the rod with the chain. All right, next setup. So this is the Super. This is the Shimano Aldebaran with the Shimano Cardiff AX. It has the super ultra light action and then really super soft tips, very flexible. I'm using this for the thinking like a countdown. I'm, and then this one has the six point, I guess three or seven gear ratio around there. So slow action, slow retrieving. So I'm using this for like a crankbait or like a lapala countdown or like a spoons and stuff. But I'm mostly using this for the mostly Dynamic Lure HD and then Lapala Countdown. Check this out. So fourth floor I'm gonna use for this reel is the Lapala Countdown, the rainbow drop color. Last time I caught a really big one, big trout about seven, 18 inch I think with this one rainbow trout so hopefully I get that fish again today so so just like I said like I said this one has the 6.3 gear ratio so really slow slow retrieving I mean that slow retrieving and they're really good cranking action with this also, this reel, this reel I can use for Dynamic Lure HD because it has a really slow re release action. So this is my setup for the Ardabaran. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about the line. All right, I'm using this one for the braid line. Was the 10 pound, 10 pound braid line was the 10 pound, four pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. Also. This one I'm using for 10 pound of braid line with the 4 pound of fluorocarbon leader. So I think this, this setup is perfect for trout fishing. All right, now spinning gear. So I'm using this for the, um, like a spoon fishing, like a spoon or like a jig head, those kind of stuff. When I work, work, work with this fish, it's a really slow action. I'm using spin, spinning gear. So I'm um, today I'm using this gear with a uh, probably probably I'm gonna use this one for let's try to use a uh, more bright color lure with a spoon. This is a 1.8 ounce spoon right here. I'm gonna use this for the with a spinner spinning gear. All right, so this is a Daiwa Exist. Yeah, I think I guess like 2019 or something, 18. This is the 4.8 gear ratio, so perfect, perfect for the spoon, spoons, because of slow retrieving. And I'm using a Daiwa Presso 6.2 extra ultra light, very soft tips, very soft, and very light. This gear. This is a, this is my favorite setup for spinning gear. Awesome. All right, I think that's about it. So, my spinning setup, my fast action baiting setup, and slow action with the super ultra light rod, with the Apollo countdown setup, those kind of stuff. And seems like this is it. This is my setup for my kayak. How you guys like it and this is my rod holder yeah i think that's about it so how how it looks it looks perfect all right perfect show you guys one more time this is my chair with some hobby and this is my paddle my it is called mirage drive it moves like freely it has really Good paddles because the only thing I, re I really like about Hobie because this paddle paddle is really soft paddle I love it okay and 
my tools, fishing order, tweezers, cutters, my net, my ice box, rod holder, and paddle, fishing tackle box, and four piece of rod. Two, three bay fitness setup, and one spinning setup. I think it's perfect. All right, I'm ready to go. Oh shit, I forgot my water shoes. I have to wear my water shoes. Where's my water shoes? All right, this is my water shoes. So when I go inside the water, I don't have to worry, worry about that I get wet. All right. All right, time to go. I really like this kayak because this handle right here is very comfortable. When I hold it, it feels it has a really good grab to moving these kayaks. All right, time to go. Oh, look at that fall. Yes, yeah, sir. How you doing, sir? Yeah. Okay, time to go. Okay, let's go. Woo, pretty nice day outside. So, so this paddle, this is called Miraji Paddle Drive. I tried all the like paddle drive kayaks when I tried to buy a kayak. I think Hobie makes the better paddle drive. Hobi makes the best pedal drive kayak because this drive is so comfortable. I don't even put too much power when I do this pedal. So very comfy. I don't waste so much power on this. Very nice. And this chair stability, very comfortable. I can stand up no problem. Yes, I can stand up no problem. And very stable. I love it. Ah, uh, cool. Come on. My first kayak was the was the really cheap kayak. It was like 450 bucks kayak. That kayak was awesome, but you know, after I changed to this kayak, it's like a totally different world. Uh, also, I don't do any modification on this kayak because I don't want to put holes into this kayak. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to put any hole in the kayak.
Uh, very nice day. This kayak is awesome. Hobi Mirage Passport. This is the cheapest kayak in the Hobi market, but it is the still over a thousand dollars. It's about thirteen hundred bucks with the tax about fifteen hundred dollars. This is totally worth the money. So if you guys are interested in this kayak, yes, I highly recommend get this kayak. Cause that this Mirage Paddle Drive is fucking awesome. So I think this is it guys. Thank you for watching you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.